Welcome back. Today we're busting some tornado myths that might just blow your mind. You know, those little nuggets of misinformation we've all heard a thousand times. Like, if you're caught in a twister, just pull over and hide under an overpass, right? Or how about this gem, all tornadoes look alike, so a little one can't hurt you. We're gonna expose these tornado tall tales for the dangerous nonsense they are. So buckle up, buttercups, because we're about to weather the storm of misinformation. Myth number one. Okay, picture this. You're cruising down the highway, top down, the wind in your hair, feeling the freedom of the open road. The sun is shining, the music is blasting, and life feels pretty darn good when suddenly a tornado appears on the horizon looking like Mother Nature's angry blender. It's swirling, it's menacing, and it's heading your way faster than you can say mommy. Your first instinct might be to pull over and duck under the nearest overpass, right? After all, it seems like a solid structure, a safe haven from the chaos outside. Well, hold your horses, Wyatt, because that's a one-way ticket to a world of hurt. Overpasses are not the tornado shelters you think they are. First of all, overpasses offer zero protection from flying debris. Imagine all those bits and pieces of the world being hurled at you at breakneck speeds. That's right, that swirling vortex of doom is basically a giant garbage disposal. It's not just the wind you have to worry about, but everything it's picked up along the way. And, oh yeah, those winds, they're not just strong, they're sneaky. They can change direction in an instant, catching you off guard. They'll whip right under that overpass, turning it into a wind tunnel and sucking you right out like a rogue vacuum cleaner. The narrow space actually accelerates the wind, making it even more dangerous. So unless you're auditioning for the next Final Destination movie, steer clear of overpasses when the skies start looking angry. Instead, find a low, flat location, lie down, and cover your head. It's not glamorous but it could save your life. Myth number two, let's talk tornado aesthetics. Tornadoes come in all shapes and sizes, and each one has its own unique characteristics. You might think a big, bad, cone-shaped twister is the only one you need to worry about. Those massive, towering funnels certainly look intimidating. But guess what? Tornadoes are like snowflakes. No two are exactly alike. Each one has its own personality, if you will, you got your skinny ones, your fat ones, and everything in between. Some are tall and slender, while others are short and stout. And then, there are your rope tornadoes that look like something out of a western movie, twisting and turning across the landscape. And here's the kicker, size doesn't always equal strength. A small tornado can be just as dangerous, if not more so, than a larger one. That little twister you just dismissed? It might look harmless, but it could be packing some serious power. It could pack a punch like Mike Tyson in his prime, delivering a knockout blow when you least expect it. The only way to know for sure is to check the damage, or better yet, listen to the experts. They can tell you what to expect and how to stay safe. Those storm chasers with their fancy equipment, they're out there gathering crucial data, not just for the thrill of the chase. They're not just adrenaline junkies. They're providing life-saving information. Their work helps meteorologists predict and warn us about these powerful storms. So, don't judge a tornado by its cover because looks can be deceiving. Always stay informed and prepared no matter what the tornado looks like. Okay, the last myth we're busting today is a real head-scratcher. It's one of those myths that has been passed down through generations, and many people still believe it to this day. Some folks will tell you that the southwest corner of your basement is the safest place to be during a tornado. This advice has been around for decades and it's often shared during storm season. Why? Because apparently tornadoes always travel northeast, so the debris will magically fly over you. The idea is that by staying in the southwest corner, you'll be out of harm's way. Well, I hate to break it to you, but tornadoes didn't get the memo. They don't follow a set path and can change direction at any moment. They're like toddlers on a sugar rush. They go wherever they want, whenever they want. So, while the southwest corner might offer some psychological comfort, it's not a guaranteed safe zone. It might make you feel better, but it won't necessarily keep you safe. The best thing you can do is find a sturdy shelter, preferably underground, and kiss your lucky rabbit's foot. Make sure your shelter is well stocked with supplies and has a solid structure. Because when it comes to tornadoes, there's no such thing as a sure bet. Always be prepared for the unexpected, and don't rely on old myths to keep you safe. So there you have it, folks. Next time a tornado comes knocking, you'll know exactly what not to do. Remember, when it comes to these whirling dervishes of destruction, 
Knowledge is power. Stay safe and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more myth-busting fun.